Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we've got Miss AV behind us and we are going to be installing a transmission cooler. Let's get through the intro and show you guys how to do it. So we've got the Hayden uh, part number 679 rapid cool trans cooler here. It's got all the fittings, instructions, everything we need. The cooler itself, yeah. Cohen is going to help. So what we're going to be doing first off is taking all of this out of the way. We're going to take the air filter out. And then down here we got a couple bolts. We got to take those out, remove this top piece. And then we should be able to have some access. We'll end up jacking the car up. Right now it's just sitting down on the ground. But we'll be jacking it up so we can get under there. And put this transmission cooler in before we do our transmission swap. Because that's what we got to do next. But before we get messing with that, I would rather get this part of it done. Alright, so on the driver's side, there are these two plugs. On the front, there's just a little clip. You just pull that up right there, pull that off, and then right here, there's another one. We're just gonna pull that out too. Take that wiring, get it out of our way. And now we can get to the air filter, which I've got a 15 16 socket on here to just loosen these up real, real quick. That one shouldn't need to come out. And we may have to take the air filter. Oh, it's actually not even on. There we go. So the Corvette has sat for like a year. So, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> Air filter, we need to clean it out. But now that that stuff's out of the way, we're actually going to take this cover. Let's zoom out a little bit, get you a better view. Get this cover off. And to do so, there's two bolts. One right here and one right here. So those happen to be a 10 millimeter. So we've got a 10 millimeter there with an extension that helps get it. Now we just gotta go to the other side and then we'll be able to take this off. Let's go over there. All right, we're on our last one here. Cohen's about to get it, trying to get it with his fingers. Then we'll be able to pull off this top plastic piece yep. of the radiator. That good. All right, there we go. Now we've got that off. And that gives us a good view down in between the radiator and the air conditioner condenser, air conditioning condenser, Whoa! but right down there where Cohen's wow comes from, that is actually where we will be putting our transmission cooler. So this guy is actually gonna go down over here because our transmission line is that guy right there that we're looking for. Let's go over there. To make this easier under the car we're looking at the front here yeah. underneath here there's a bolt right there and there should be one on this side too right there and then right up here there are more along this whole side here all the way down we're gonna take those out because that will remove the damn cover and give us a little more access to work with this. You don't have to do it, but we're going to because it's gonna make it easier. If you're gonna go ahead and remove this piece right here, the air dam cover as well, first off, you're gonna to want to pull this wire out, which is plugged right down on the side there but also down further, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Right there, you see that plug right there? I've already broken that loose. That is for the outside air temperature. You're gonna wanna unclip that as well. And then you'll be ready to pull that out once you have those all those bolts on the bottom, which are a 5 16th. All right, so for the bolts underneath here, you're gonna need a 9 30 seconds. At least that's what we're using. Yep. And that is getting them off there. 
silicone, the helper is on it. All right, so now that we've got all of that unhooked, this should come pretty much right out, just like that. And then we can set it to the side. And now, look at all that access we have. That provides a ton of work. Plus, I can get that little nest out of here from whatever is living up in this Corvette. Oof. Sorry, old girl. Man. So, now, let's go ahead, get this puppy lined up and down there on the condenser, because that's where we're going to put it, right here on the face. And then we'll run our lines right beside here, and they'll go into the transmission. So, let's do that. So based on all the research that I've done, this is the return line to the transmission. So that is why we're going to be using it. An easy way to tell to make sure that it's your return line is to go ahead and turn the car on, put it in park with your brake pressed down, let it sit there for just a little bit, maybe 10, 30 seconds, and then come out and figure out if which line running to the transmission is the coolest. Whichever is the coolest that'll be your return line which for us is that top one now for this cooler here it can be mounted horizontally they show they show in the instructions that it could be horizontally with the um, inputs and outputs going down downwards or horizontally so vertically or horizontally either way doesn't matter we're going to do it horizontally because it just fits. It seems to fit a little better that way in the car. So that's the method that we're going to take. Um, it does have some more instructions in here and uh, useful information. So if you guys get the same kit, I, d I do suggest reading over it um, prior to installing. But I'm going to show you all the things so you shouldn't have to worry about reading over it. But just in case you like to read, why not? So first up, we're going to put our cooler find a good spot down there put our cooler on it and then we'll put these guys through there let's prepare these before we get there okay so to prepare installing the cooler into the conditioner I went ahead and you guys can see light through all those I took one of these and I just I just used it to poke that hole out and then what I did is put the sticky side on the um, little holder here on the back of that, so that that way there's nothing nothing sticky is going to get on the the air air um, condenser coil. Instead, it'll be on the back of this, which makes it easier to put in. So we're just going to prepare all of these. Got three more to do. We're gonna do them all the same, and then we'll get under the car and show you guys that installing. Actually, I'm gonna do it above because we got the room now, but I'll show you guys that here in just a second. All right, so I'm going from the front because I think this will be a good camera view for you guys, um, but I'm gonna have somebody help me hold this while I've got all this other stuff in my hand, so let's get some help. All right, so now that we've got that there, we're gonna take these and just push them through the condenser fan, we don't want to push it all the way through because we don't want to go to the radiator. So I'm going to do that same thing on this side. I'm going to stick it in between the fins. And now that should support that just enough by putting in two. And we can come to this other side. From the top view, you can see right there is one of them. There's another one there. What we're going to do is I'm going to grab, try and grab those and have my helper, Adi, over there push some more. Nice and slow. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So now we've almost got it up here. Push a little more, bub there we go that'll work so now we can take one of these with the pad on the back and we can put 
try to do this one handed here. Um, push that in there. It's a little hard one handed, so maybe I'll you can give me a hand here. But we're gonna do that and then get them all the way down and then we'll cut this extra off because we don't want to go through the radiator. Like push it down? Alright, there we go. So that's what it should look like. However, we still have some pulling to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put my hand down here and have Audi push that all... Nope, other one. Whew, that was a close call. Yeah, go ahead and push that all the way through. You can see it's coming up by my hand there. Keep pushing it all the way down. Careful, careful, careful. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. All the way down. So it should look like that from the top. And then the back side will look like that. However, we are going to cut this extra off because we don't want it rubbing on the radiator. So we'll do that to, this, to the other side and also on the lower ones however the bottom ones are going to be a little more difficult because i can't just reach my hand right there so we'll get to those when we get to those all right so now we've got all four of those in there we had to end up using some uh pliers to hold the bottom ones down there i just kind of held them in like this and then pushed it on but now we're going to cut off this extra using these little snips so i'm just going to stick them down in here and I'm going to leave a little bit on there, maybe. There we go. So we'll leave them looking like that. I'm just going to leave a little extra. It's not enough that it's going to move and hit into the radiator, but that way it doesn't, it, doesn't, it won't fall off that way. I cut some super short on the other car <laughs> and like right up next to it and they actually ended up coming off the next day so we're just gonna leave that little bit of extra there and then we'll go down to the bottom and cut those as well and then we'll work on our line up here all right so the next thing is we're gonna remove the transmission line right here which happens to be a 5 8 so I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen this and honestly, I know I replaced my trans uh, radiator recently, so there's not any fluid gonna come out of there. <laughs> because there's no oil in our transmission either, which is why we're doing this now, because we'll after we get this knocked out, we'll be doing a transmission swap. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. Now that that's off, we can run our lines and get the right fit. All right, so in our kit, it comes with this little adapter here and we're going to put that in place of there but as you can see we want to use some Teflon tape so I'll be taking that off of this one and oops I guess dropping it for right now we will then put this hose I believe it's just going to go right over this so this isn't going to be used but we're just going to leave it there once I get the hose on there, I'll just tape this on. Uh, just use some electrical tape or something to hold that in place because it will not be needed. However, this is going to go right down there. We'll screw it in, get some Teflon tape on it. And actually, just kidding, that is not going to fit in there. That is the wrong size. So I need to get a different one. And get one that's the right size. Alright, so we actually need to also take this little adapter off of the radiator. And I believe that was a three quarters. Let's double check it real quick. In fact, was a three quarter wrench to pull off that adapter. So this will not be used this is going to go in place of it but we need to put on some teflon tape and then our hose will go around this 
and around this and also around each of those little bibs there but we're gonna come back to this so I am gonna go get ready for bed gotta put the kids to bed and then we'll come back on another day finish this out show you guys how to do it stay tuned alright guys I'm gonna apologize it is very windy today but we are getting ready to run the hose here you guys can see we'll be running that to the transmission line on the other side but on this side what I want to show you is getting it works better with two hands so if you got a, a friend to hold the camera and get their fingers in there that'll work great thank you dear so it's in my face so. now <clears throat> I want to get this thing on there as much as I can. Get this clamp out of the way. <clears throat> all right, we'll just call that good. Slide the clamp down which I'm gonna have to loosen so slide that down but the next thing that we want to do is let's see if we can see that right. yeah you guys can see that Off we go. Bye, we'll love you. we're gonna cut this part of the foam out to fit the hose so there's a gap and then up here uh, yeah right there you can see that we'll do that same thing up top and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little some glue on the back side of this to stick it back on there because well it's falling off. So we cut this up a little bit, glue it back on, and that will help keep the, the shroud in place and off the cover. So let's loosen this, clamp it down, and then we'll go to the other side so then we can get this one ready. All right, so I put that back in so that I could run these lines. I got both those hooked up. And as you guys can see, potentially here, I'll just do this top one. You can see this top one runs straight under there, right here, feeding back to the transmission. Now, the other one is right here, and I have it running under there all the way under there then you can see it goes down all the way to the bottom because that is going right in there into the radiator so we're gonna run it from the transmission fills the bottom comes up to the top to return to the transmission but it's going to instead go through our transmission cooler fill the bottom come through the top and then head back to the transmission through here so that's what we're doing and I put this back in so that we can see how this lines up we don't want any rubbing or anything but you can tuck oh yeah I forgot my phone's magnetic sorry we can tuck ah! let me fill the back guys took that hose so that it sits down in there and then I got some glue right there that we can glue this back into place to get that back on so that's what I'm gonna do I'll show you guys after I got it all done all right now that I've got these routed I've got some thread tape on there we're going to get that guy screwed in right there like so this is a 16 millimeter so I'm just gonna get it in with my fingers first and then we'll get that guy tightened all the way in. That thread tape is gonna help prevent it from leaking. That is a must. Don't forget, like I almost did, to put your uh, brain, brain fart, put this guy on there and lock it. So let's go ahead and get that and then we'll work on the routing.
Alright, so now you guys can see how I've got that ran. That is going to allow me to put this piece back inside there. Help give this cushion from the plastic as well as cover that. I just need to cut it up and put it back in the right spot. And then I got it wired. I mean, not wired, but I got the hose lined through just like that. It's all hooked up, ready to rock and roll, put some fluids in. Alright, so now I've got the car jacked up and on jack stands, you guys can see those there. Definitely do that, because it makes this job right here a whole lot easier. And that is getting that screw put in, this screw, you guys might have a filter right here, ours is missing. That's what this clip does, it holds that little screen in place. Try and keep birds from going up in there and skunks and stuff like that, you know. Um, there's another one, another one. And then we have one, two, three more. Once you guys get those all in, you're good to go. And now I can really show you how that, how I was able to get that fit in there good and still get this rubber piece glued in. So now if we go back up top, we'll be able to finish this job. All right, so now we need to plug in our outside sensor down there, the temperature sensor and then just clip that back into its little hole put our cover on which the bolts if you don't remember from the start they are a 10 millimeter so we'll just go ahead and put those guys in right down here in both spots Let's see if i can get it over there there we go just start it by hand and then get this one in there too then we can go to the other side, line it up, and get that put in. Then it's just a matter of putting on our air filter. So we'll put the air filter on there, and then just slip that guy down, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. All right, now that we got that put in, we just need to put this plug on, and then put that plug in, and then our awesome little Plastic clip right there. Hold the, the wire and bam! Job done. If you guys enjoyed this video or if this video helped you out, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We will catch you all on the road in Miss Avi very soon. Have a blessed day. God bless y'all. Cohen wants to show you guys something real quick before we end the vlog. Go get him, Cohen. <laughs> he got a little nervous on video there. Yeah, buddy. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, smash that thumbs up if it helped you. Don't forget to click the right subscribe button. We will catch you all in the next vlog. Have a blessed afternoon, evening, day. God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is fixed in you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to